YouTube. What's up? How's everybody doing tonight? Welcome, welcome. Hopefully everybody had a good Monday. We got a late nighter tonight. We won't be too late, but we're starting late. Um, Jack's had a Monday practice today, and we just got home at around 8.30. So I knew I was going to be getting home later, so that's why we went 9 o'clock. But 8 o'clock is still, when there's outside of practices, it's still going to be our normal time. All right? All right, so here's the deal. What we got tonight. Okay, you guys are going to get the ad in a minute if you didn't already. I see <coughs> we might have got the ad already. I, our numbers just already fluctuated. But what we got going tonight, we are going to, this is almost, so what we're going to be doing tonight is, I, I wouldn't say similar to a Hall of Fame training just for the fact of, Hall of Fame training, I answer all of the questions, obviously. And these lives, we'll have a little bit less tonight being later. I'm going to guess around 200. So, but at the Hall of Fame trainings, what we do is we do a lot of different software trainings and, and things like that. And that's what we're doing tonight is um, we are going to, we have a lot of new TRW Design Wizard users and we always do not a, now, we never do a discount on the pricing, as many of you know, for the software. However, we do have Black Friday deals with the software where you get extra stuff with it, okay? So, a lot of people hop on to the Wizards come Black Friday deals because they get extra artwork packs and stuff like that for the Black Friday. And everybody always wants to kind of see kind of what it does before Black Friday. So... All of you that are somewhat new or may not have the software, this will be good for you. And then all of you who do have the software, it's going to be some stuff that you've obviously seen before. But we want to, so we don't get too advanced in this type of training because any of you that are brand new that have never used the software would be like, what did he just do? So the cool thing is, is you can always go back and, um, and rewatch it as well. So. I do, because we're not having, um, we're not doing a, like, a, like we normally do, a physical product where we're cutting and heat pressing and everything else, I did decide to do something a little special for you guys in that I changed, you know, every Monday night, if you come to the Monday Lives, you get special, you're, you're special basically, you're, you're better than everybody else. And you get a special coupon code for <coughs> different things that we're using normally in the live. So what I decided to do tonight is do a 70% off designs, fonts, and packs. That will last for 24 hours. Okay? As you, all of you know, that's more than what we usually do. Okay, but since we're just doing software, some of you might say, okay, I would like to get a font. I would like to get this and that. So here's my plan tonight. Okay, Matt said, um, you, you, you guys that come to the live are all special, Kim. And Kim, Kim, I'm just following up. I'm, I'm pretty sure I did hear, I was talking to the call center and... Your font collector, you're good, right? Are you up and running with it? I'm pretty sure I, I followed up with it just to make sure. And they said that you were good. I just wanted to verify with you real quick that you are up and running with the font collector. So I'm going to run through a few different basic things. I'm going to show you some mock-ups. And it's going to, I wouldn't say it's going to be an overview of the entire wizard because that would take 10 hours. However, yes, I did get it working. Okay, sweet. Good, good, good. Um, but I am going to show some different things like, okay, this is a multi-deck design. This is a live template. This is editing this and so on. So it's going to be pretty cool, especially for any of you that are new. So just to get some feedback real quick of everybody that is here, okay, just give me a yes or a no if you currently have the TRW Design Wizard. Yes, I do have it, or no, I don't have it. Let me know. I want to kind of get an idea of 
everybody here that kind of how many we have, if, if it's half yes, half no, or what. So I'm seeing yes, yes, no, yes, no, yes, yes, no, 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 yes, no, yes, no. Okay, so I'm looking at probably, I'm going to guess we're probably about 50-50, which is probably about what I would have guessed with about 200 people. We're about 50-50. Okay, awesome. You guys ready to get into it? So, show you what the TRW Design Wizard can do, some different basic stuff it can do, how you can make some super simple decals, stuff like that with some of our different packs, but then also be able to create your own stuff. So, TikTok, I'm going to actually bring you guys over here. I'm going to flip you around, and we'll probably be, we'll probably be a little, an hour, maybe a little over an hour. And TikTok, I'm going to rotate you like this so you can see my screen. However, I'm not going to be able to see your comments anymore, okay, TikTok? So if you want to comment, make sure to head over to YouTube, and you'll be able to see my screen better on YouTube as well. So let me get my screen flipped here. <coughs> and let's hop on over to Corel Draw. And let's get it. All right. So, I am currently working, and this is one thing I love about our software. I think all of you guys love it because I save you a boatload of money. Our software is compatible with Corel Draw version X7, X8, 2017, 2018, 2019, 2020, 2021, and 2022. That's eight years verse of eight years worth of Corel Draw that our software is compatible with, which is believe me, it's a lot of work for us to do that. But it saves you guys a lot of money because you don't have to update your software. You don't have to update Corel Draw. You can see I'm currently working in Corel Draw X8. My Corel Draw is seven years old. And I can still do all the same stuff because the wizard's doing so much stuff. Okay? All right. Let's go. So I want to start with, and I'm going to kind of show you what I'm going to start with as well. <coughs> Sorry, I can't get rid of this cough. Um, so when I, when I use different things, I'm going to show you on the website what it is. That way you kind of know. And all of the things I'm going to show you are all 70% off with the coupon code as well. So the first one I'm going to use is under designs, and it's a full pack. And a lot of you guys have seen me use this one because I use this thing all the freaking time because I do always did a bunch of sports stuff. And that is Live Templates Volume 3, okay? And I honestly, can someone help me out? The $200 pack, how much is it at 70% off? It's something ridiculous, but... I normally know what it is at 65. How much is it at 70% off? So this pack has 150 different template layouts in it, okay? This is my favorite pack that we have of what we do. Because $60, that's freaking awesome. All right, so I'm going to use a template out of this pack. So I'm going to show you how this works. I'm, now, all of this to the right-hand side, this is part of the TRW Design Wizard as well. And then I'm going to click over here, and I'm going to open the wizard as well here. Now, I'm going to make my wizard a little bit bigger, just so you guys can hopefully see it a little bit better. Okay? So, check this out. Come over here. Oh, that's, yeah, that's smart. I didn't even think of that. Pat Cyan, let's go, look at me, pronouncing your name right, without the tist. All right, here we go. I'm always going to remember that now. Okay, so I'm going to go to Open Template, and that's going to bring me to any TRW templates that I've purchased, or artwork packs, right? So I'm going to scroll down, I obviously have all of them in here. And I'm going to go to my Live Templates Volume 3. Click on that. Now, these are all the templates that come in this pack right here. A ton of different ones, right? So I want to show you 
one that's uh, a kind of basic one, and all of these are super easy to edit, and I use this one a lot, okay? So I'm going to double click on this one here, and that's going to open my template. Now, there's a lot going on with this template, even though it looks pretty basic. But what I want to show you is I want to show you guys very easily how to make a shirt for, let's say, your high school spirit wear for the mom and the dad or grandma and grandpa, right? That's customization, stuff like that. That's where the money is in what we do, okay? So I'm going to run through this. I'm going to show you how we can make a men's shirt, how we can make a women's shirt, how we can make a car window decal, how we can do the mock-ups, all with the exact same design. All right, you guys already know what I'm going to ask too. That's the funniest part. So <coughs> what I need is I need a team name, like high school team name, like Braden River Pirates and a sport. Hook me up. And I need to know the colors. Let me know the colors. We got colors, team name, mascot, sport, and colors. I threw the colors in there late, so I see a lot of them off the start. <coughs> Don't have the color part on it. All right, let me hop over here and find someone. I got the, okay, Pat, let's go. I got the Thurston Eagles basketball, and they're blue and white, okay? Pat Cyan. All right, check this out. I'm going to come over here to the right-hand side. I'm going to hit Find Text. That's going to pull up all the text on the screen, okay? So, what do we have? For the top, we got Thurston. So, I'm going T H U. R-S-T-O-N. Everybody see how that just fit there perfect? Because this is a live template for our software. Then I go to Pirates, and I want Eagles. E-A-G-L-E-S. Fits in there perfect. Then I got Basketball, and then Blue and White. Okay? So, to do Basketball, I'm going to click on the Soccer Ball. Now, this basketball's in the artwork pack that comes with these templates, too, which is pretty cool, right? So, I'm going to go to Change Artwork. <clears throat> if I wanted to add new artwork, I would hit Add Artwork. I want to go to Change Artwork, okay? And then the artwork I want to change to is <coughs> I want to go to the clip art, and I'm just going to type Basketball. So I'm searching the different basketballs within this. And I'm going to look and I'm going to say, okay, I like kind of like that one. I kind of like that one. I really like this one. So I'm going to double click and it swaps out the soccer ball with the basketball. Okay. Last I got soccer and I'm going basketball. All right. So that part was super easy, right? I didn't have to think about any de designing. I got Thurston Eagles basketball. Now, everybody let me know, is this file cut ready? Am I ready to send this to my vinyl cutter right now? Let me know what you think. Yes or no? And I'm going to show you something. Check this out. So, the, how this gives a three-color look here... What it's actually doing is it's two separate texts. It's two separate objects with contours. It's a lot of work to get this cut ready. Okay? Unless you have this thing called the TRW Design Wizard, which we have right here. So, to get this cut ready, here's what I need to do. I need to highlight my... Now, let me show you again. See, there's black with a white contour, and then black with a burgundy contour, right? Highlight it all, come over here, and, ooh, check this out, Peggy. Bottom right corner, see my circle flashing? Merge three color live text. I'm going to click that button, 
and this is now a perfectly cut ready file with one click. That would have been about 10 to 12 steps in CorelDRAW if you knew how to do it. Okay? So, we got that. I'm going to make this one for the, the dad shirt first. Okay? And the colors were, shoot, were they blue and white? Am I right with that, Pat? Trying to scroll up and see if I can find it. Uh, blue and white. Yes, they were. Okay. Blue and white. So I want to go... How do we want to do it? Blue and white on a black shirt. We could go white shirt with like a blue and silver or black silver. Maybe blue and black silver glitter. No, this is the guy shirt first. Okay, let's do the guy shirt first. So... I'm going to select all of my burgundy, okay, just select all my burgundy, I'm going to weld that together, and then I'm going to go with a kind of a royal blue, so I'm going to come over here to my Caesar Easy Weed, and I'm going to go that blue right there, and I'm probably fine with black, what do you think, Pat, black? And then we'll go on a white shirt. Does that sound good? So this part is really cool, okay? I have black and blue. We're going to put it onto a white shirt. Highlight my design. I'm at 9.7 inches. For a men's shirt, I might go a little bit bigger. I'm going to go about 11 inches, okay? Resize my workspace, no problem. Right over here, click this little white square. Resizes my workspace. Highlight my design. I'm going to go and go to mockups. I'm going to go to men's. I'm going to go, we're going to do a men's long sleeve shirt. I'm going to go to men's long sleeve shirt front. I don't need to simulate stones. And I'm just going to click on my shirt. And there we go. <coughs> There's my men's long sleeve shirt ready to go. Now, if I wanted to, this is cool, I can change the shirt to yellow or any other color that I want. That Carolina blue actually looks pretty sweet with the blue and the black. But we had it as the white. Now, we're going to come back here and we're going to make our women's shirt. Okay? But before that, let's see how much we have in heat transfer vinyl. Check this out. Oh, I'll show you where I clicked. Top right corner of the wizard, click this little money sign. I have 98 cents in black Easy Weed heat transfer vinyl, $1.08 in royal blue Easy Weed heat transfer vinyl for a total, total of $2.05 in heat transfer vinyl on this design. I agree, Crystal. So, Men's shirt, good, done, good to go. I'm going to create another page. So I'm going to come down here and just hit add. Now instead of creating, here's another thing. And I want to know how many of you guys that use Corel do this. If you wanted to take the men's shirt and make it into the women's, right? Would you have come up here and created a new document? Be honest with me. And started a new document or... Would you have come down here and created a new page? And do you know the difference? Let me know. I do a new tab, I do a new page, I do a new document, I do a new document, new page, yes. So you want to do, at the bottom, a new page. And the reason why is when you save this file, okay, it will save each one of your pages. Had you created a new document up top, 
you would have had to save one as your men's shirt, one as your women's shirt, and it would have been two completely different files. Saving it as a new page, you save this as the Thurston Eagles design, and now you have the men's shirt here, the women's shirt here, the men's mock-up here, the women's mock-up here, and so on. And it all saves in the exact same place. Make sense? It's less files you need to save. Makes it a lot easier. So, we're going to do the women's design now. So, check this out. My basketball, I want to add stones around it. Okay? So, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to move. Okay, another good learning tool here. This blue is welded together. Okay? I like to ask questions because that's the only way you're going to learn. This blue is all welded together. How can I move just the word basketball, just for a second, down about an inch? What do you think? I want just the word basketball. Because watch, if I move just, if I grab the word basketball and move it, all of the blue is moving. Okay? Okay. I, here's what I knew a lot of people were going to say. They were going to say break apart. Here's what happens when you break apart. Watch. I come up here, I break apart, and that happens. And it breaks all of this apart. That's definitely not what you want to do. You can't ungroup it either. Because it's welded together, there's no ungroup. So, here's what you're going to do. You're going to double click. You can see it's not a typable text anymore. It's all notes, right? Nope, not, not smart fill. You could do it by smart fill, but it would take a lot longer. Check it out. Highlight the word basketball. Hit the down arrow, and it'll move just that. Do you guys know you could do that? And then when you want to move it back, look, it's still all welded together. Double click. It shows all the nodes. Highlight all of the nodes in the word basketball. You can even move it this way if you want. I could move it to right there. And now it's welded together, but over there. That's pretty sweet, isn't it? See? Learn something new tonight. Now... The, here's the reason, and I'll show you the reason why I needed to move it, okay? The word basketball, I want to add stones around it. So, to add stones around the word basketball, I'm going to go to, I'm just going to choose a weird color for right now. I'm going to go to my magic tab, which is right here. And then I'm going to do what we call a stone outline, okay? My basketball is my top layer. I'm going to make it a weird color just so you can see. You can see bas my basketball is my top layer. So, when I hit stone outline, watch what happens. It just added stones perfectly around the outside of that basketball. But, what did it do? See how it cut into my word basketball a little bit at the bottom? I want it to cut into this area but I don't want it to cut into my word basketball. So I'm going to hit control Z and go back. All right. I'm going to double click, highlight my word basketball, hit my down arrow, and just move it up far enough away for right now that the stones don't affect it. This is what I love about this stone outline tool. Okay. I'm going to say of the 235 of you in here right now, Maybe 20 of you, no, maybe 10 of you, could do what I'm about to do in Corel Draw. Shoot, maybe less than that without the wizard. Yeah, not many, just because of the adding stones to a path. But... The amount of work that is involved in what I'm about to do in this one click is crazy. Because what it's actually doing is it's also taking all of these layers, 
knocking them out perfectly, cutting into these layers, deciding that it's got SS10 stones, okay, and then making the contour perfectly, making the stones perfectly around the outside. So watch, I'm going to do it again. Stone outline, and watch this area right here too. Boom, and it's perfect. It's crazy. You can do it anywhere. Just to show you kind of what it's doing, watch. This is going to look weird. It's not what we want to do, but watch. Stone outline. Perfect. All right. So let's go stone outline, and we're good to go. Now let's make it the colors. Okay, so the blue, uh, oh, let's fix the word basketball. Remember, we want to bring basketball, hit the up arrow, and go to about right there. And I moved it back in place. Okay, so we want this basketball to be black. We're going to keep the stones crystal. I love crystal stones on a white shirt. It just looks amazing because it isn't, and I'll show you what a different color looks like. I promise you won't like it as much. And But when you have crystal stones on a white shirt, they kind of blend in with the white shirt, but they just sparkle. So it just makes it pop. All right. So let's go ahead and click on all of my blue. That's all welded together. I'm going to come over here to my Caesar Glitter HTV. I'm going to do Royal Blue Glitter. And then for the black, select same color. I have all my black selected now. And I'm going to do black glitter. So now you can see all my glitters. And then the stones, select same color. Crystal stones. Highlight my design. Go to mock-ups. I'm going to go to women's. And I'm going to do a women's long sleeve shirt front. Simulate stones right here, and then click on my women's shirt. <coughs> and there we go. Check out the stones. Stones perfect, all the glitters perfect, exactly what that shirt's going to look like. Now, you want to see how much that shirt is going to cost? Highlight it all, come over to my money sign, I have a $1.29 in Royal Blue Glitter, $1.15 in Galaxy Black Glitter. I have 64 SS10 stones, a total of 16, this is crazy, 16 cents worth of stone cost. And I'm going to upcharge a minimum of $5 for that. Um, so can you still, yeah, 100%, Cheryl, you can cut on the Cricut with this. What you would do is just export it as an SVG file and then bring it into Design Space and cut it. All right. Pretty sweet, right? Now I'm going to show you one more thing. Okay, I'm going to go back to the men's design. I'm going to copy it, add a new page down here. We back. Back, 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 back. Basketball. Two for two. How bad is that? Literally. The trash can was sitting right next to me, and I could have dropped both the batteries in the trash can. But I had to push the trash can away to shoot it, because that's more fun.
<laughs> All right. Sound is back. Are we good? I see most people saying yes. Yes, yes, yes. Sweet. Let's go. All right. So what I was saying is we're making a, I don't know when the sound shut off, but we're doing the car window decal. I moved it down to 3.8 inches by 6.2 inches. So then I come over to my mock-ups. I'm going to go to TRW, and I'm going to choose a car decal front. Okay? Click on the car window. And there we go. We got the Thurston Eagles basketball team. Easy as that. Now, let's head back to the mom shirt. Okay? I'm on the mom shirt, and I want to make... I'm going to test you guys here. I want to make an extra $5 on this shirt when I sell it. Yet, I don't want to use any extra heat transfer vinyl. How can I make $5 more minimum on this shirt, but not use one more penny in heat transfer vinyl? How can I do that? Can't use any heat transfer vinyl. Can't use rhinestones either. Nope. It already has rhinestones. I can't, I can't spend one more penny in product. I see, some, I see some of you are almost on it. I like, I, like you, I like it, Sharon. I like it. So Sharon said add a player number with scraps, which yes and no, you don't have to get in the scrap bin. I'll show you why. Number 23. Oh no, I just, I did this last week. Dang it, hold on. Uh, ba, 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 ba. I shut down the YouTube thing again. I hit that X by mistake. Let me go open you guys back up over there. Because I can't see your comments right now. Go live. Here we are. Should be live. There we go. Okay. Ryan Sandberg, baby. Let's go. All right. I got my 23 right here. We were using um, Impact Font, right? Come on over to the Font Collector. Choose some Impact Font. I got number 23. And watch where I'm going to put it. I know. I see you guys. I see you, Peggy. I'm going to drop this 23 right here. Okay. And then what I'm going to do, this is a pretty cool tool. It's part of the wizard. I'm over here in the live template editor on the right-hand side. Okay. I'm going to do a small magic boundary. 0 0.06. I'm in the bottom right corner. I'm going to create a contour and remove shapes behind. Got me? I'm going to turn this to blue. And then when I hit magic boundary, that's going to happen. Now, if I think that's a little bit too much, sometimes that, that inside part makes it a little bit harder to read it. Or if I want to add a little bit more, maybe I go 0 0.08 magic boundary. And then maybe I come over here, double click, and get rid of that little inside area. So the 23 is easier to read. And that right there, weld it together, that was going to be waste, no matter what, <clears throat> right? And I honestly, I might do this. What do you guys think? It might even look better. Just kind of closing it off like this.
Yeah. I think just that weird line kind of going there a little bit. I wasn't a huge fan of that. That just make this just makes the 23 pop a little bit more, but you can see it still looks exactly like a basketball. But that would have been waste, right? I would have because this is what I would have cut with my glitter heat transfer vinyl. I would have basically cut all of this. All of this would have been waste. All of this would have been waste and so on. So my next question is how can I, without using any more glitter heat transfer vinyl, make another 5 to $7 on this shirt. What do you think? You know what I would do? I would come over here. I would have another, let's say, number 23. And I would take this one I would make this about three inches, which is going to fit perfect, I know, because I used to do this all the time. And there is a perfect number 23 to add to the sleeve. So now I have the custom number 23 on the front, on the front. And then with this, I can throw a custom number 23 on the sleeve as well. And again, was probably going to be waste. So, without using technically any more heat transfer vinyl than we would have used, I'm making an extra $10 on this shirt. Right? And you can do, there's so many things you can do. I mean, it is crazy. It's crazy the amount, like, obviously I have a whole dead area right here. Right? I mean, I could put something on a hat. I could put something on the shoes. I could, so many different things we could do with all of these different spots. I mean, here's, this would be pretty cool to do something like this. Watch, I'm going to use my Smart Fill tool. I'm going to click here, here, and here. Now I'm going to select same color, pull this over to here, weld it together, turn it glitter blue, and now I could put this on the other sleeve. That's another five bucks. So there's so many things. Like it's, your options are just unlimited as far as add-ons that you can do and different things you can do for t-shirts and everything else. It's pretty cool. All right. Yeah, we've been here 40 minutes, and I've shown you 1% of the wizard. I know. When I get into these, I get excited, and then uh, I realize, okay, well, I've showed them one button so far. <laughs> All right, I am going to... Save that design, Pat. All right. Good with that? Let's close her down. <coughs> I always have to show this one because this is kind of our go-to this is kind of our go-to for the wizard. This is, this is the wow, ooh, ah factor. 
so I always have to show it. You guys know what I'm showing, right? Yeah, you know. Check it out. Eagles soccer. Doesn't matter what it is. Eagles baseball, Eagles tennis, it can be anything. So, check this out. Fine text. We're going to go Eagles baseball. Watch this. I'm going to show you how quickly this can be done, and any one of you can do this, okay? I'm going to change the rhinestones to a color that you'll see. Let's go TRW blue just for now. Watch this. Highlight my design. Weld it together. Grab the eagle mascot. Drop it on top. Highlight them both. Go to stone or go to stone knockout. Click that button. And you're done. We got maybe, I think normally like two, maybe three overlaps in this. Right there. Right there. That's good there. Select the same color. Merge overlapping stones. And this is ready to go. So check this out. If they're black and green and we want to put it on a white shirt, I'm going to come over here to black glitter. I'm going to go to green glitter. I'm going to change these to crystal stones. I'm going to highlight them all. I'm going to go to mock-ups. I'm going to go to women's long sleeve shirt front, simulate stones, click on my shirt, and that design's done. How sweet is that? Now, this is what I love about this. And you can, again, if the shirt's a large shirt, so we can make it a little smaller. But check this out. If I changed it to a black shirt, change this to a white glitter, Eagles baseball, right? What if you wanted to show some sparkle? Check this out. Click the Add Bling button. I'm going to add a little sparkle there and a little sparkle there. So now when I email it to the customer and they want to see those rhinestones sparkling, it's going to look like they have that little sparkle on them. Believe me, that sells shirts. Yes, exactly, Crystal. So when you resize a design, I was just, what you don't want to do, anytime you resize it like I did on the shirt, you aren't actually using that file. You're using the file on page one. But never resize a rhinestone design just by shrinking it like that because it's going to shrink the circle sizes so your stones won't fit in right. Okay? All right. That was pretty easy, wasn't it? Let's move on. Boom, click on that. So now what I want to show you, <clears throat> and one of the biggest things with the software is the mock-up features. And how, well, first let me show you this real quick because I saw some people asking, um, what letter? I'll use a big, I just did one of these the other day. We're going to come and choose a big B. And I am going to go with like a college black font. Let's do... This guy here. Okay? Check this out. Big B going on the front of the shirts. It was for Bulldogs. They wanted a big B on it. They wanted rhinestones around it and then accented with other glitter and they were uh, red glitter and blue glitter on a white shirt let me show you how easy this is i got my size here let's get it to about 8.5 inches tall because it's going to get bigger right go to my magic tab stone outline with contour click that button change this to a blue glitter change this to a red glitter Change the stones to crystal rhinestones. 
highlight my design, go to my mockups, click on my shirt. Obviously, I can move it down a little bit. And we're done with that design. It's perfect. A design like this, because it's more basic, there is literally not one overlapping stone on that entire B right there. And the software just did that for you. So, now, this is the question I get a lot as far as can you make, because we have so many mock-ups in the software already. However, can you make your own mock-ups? And I'm going to show you how that works real quick, because we get this question all the time, and I show it a lot in the Hall of Fame trainings, but I don't show it as much in these type of trainings. So, let me show you. I'm going to come over here, and I'm going to... Oh, what do we want to show? Let's show... How about a pillow? That's something different that we haven't done. Um, the question is, do I have a pillow that is not already made? Let's see, let's see, let's see. Let's try to go to... Throw pillow white. I'm going to do like you guys would do and just try to pull something off the internet. Okay? So let me see if I can get a decent looking throw pillow. Okay. This is completely random. I literally, I'll show you. I literally just went to some website and grabbed it. And maybe this is a pillow that you're using for your customers. Okay? I want to put this pillow, because maybe I use it a lot. I want to put this pillow into the wizard. Okay? So, watch what I'm going to do here. I'm going to go to my mock-up creator. First things first, this is just a basic JPEG, basically. So, I'm going to show you. See, it has a white box behind it. When I click on different colors, nothing happens. Okay? Let's get rid of this background. First thing I want to do is I want to trace the pillow. Okay? So I'm going to come over here and I'm going to create an auto boundary. And look what it did. It just drew a boundary around my pillow, but it also did a slight inside contour to get rid of some of the pixelation. Then, I'm going to highlight both of them, okay? I have that and this. Highlight both of them, and I'm going to cut out a color change mock-up. So, I've clicked on two buttons so far. My pillow, everybody agree with me? My pillow still looks the exact same. Don't you think? It still looks the same, right? Watch the difference now. With two clicks. Remember back behind? Look back behind now. It's all trimmed out perfect. <laughs> so I can have any background. It's basically just the pillow now. It got rid of all that. But here's the cool part. Look what else it did. I can make it a yellow pillow. I can make it an aqua pillow. I can make it a blue pillow. I can make it a pink pillow. I can make it any one of these colors that I want because in the software, I just change it to a color changing pillow. So to make it color changing, you always have to start with a white image. Got it? Now, I want to add this pillow to the software so I never have to do this again. Okay? So, check this out. This pillow, I think, let me go look, it is 15 inches by 15 inches. Okay? 15 by 15. So, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to come over here. Everybody see where I am? Design width. I'm going to say, I'm going to go to the full pillow, and I'm going to say 15. All right? I'm going to hit Create Design Placement. This red box, 
I'm going to make edge to edge because the pillow is 15 inches wide. So, don't pay attention <coughs> to this area up here, okay? Only thing you're paying attention to is you already told it that it's 15 inches. Okay? So, highlight both of them. Come down here. You want to save this to pillows. And I'm going to call it 15 throw for a 15 inch throw pillow. 15 throw. And I'm going to hit save custom product. And now that product is saved. Got it? Now, I'm going to show you what I'm going to use here. I'm going to come over. I'm on our website now. Full design packs. And I am going to go to, let's see how quickly I can find it. There we go. My baby live template pack. This pack has some pretty cool stuff in it. The biggest thing that I love are these kind of subway designs. Okay? Like these. So check this out. This is our TRW baby live template pack. Let's go back to Corel. I'm going to go to... Open template, and let's find our baby live template CDR designs. Let's go to images so I can see them, and let's find which one we want. I want, which one do you think I'm going to pick? I'm picking baseball. This one right here. Or softball, right? Double click. And there we go. And imagine that. It's pretty much set up to Jackson almost already. But let's go ahead and come over here to find text. Check it out. It pulls up all the text in it. Maybe his birthday is... Zero, 01 17 2008 and again if it changes a little bit you can just move that a tiny bit however big he was what time he was born where he was born all of that what day and whatnot okay pretty cool right now check this out highlight the design I want this to be probably about, I'm going to say around 12 inches wide. So I just switched it to 12 inches wide. I'm going to come over to my mock-ups. I'm going to go to pillows. Look at that. There's our 15-inch throw pillow that we just put in the software. Click right there. I don't need to simulate stones. Click on my throw pillow, and we're done. There's our mock-up ready to go. That's pretty cool, right? What if it said 10 pounds? First thing I would say is, That was a tough delivery. And then I would change the nine to a 10. <laughs> Valerie said, ouch. <laughs> Elaine said, ouch. It was a big boy, yeah, or a big girl. Pilar, you're like 30 pounds now. <laughs> I can't I can't laugh because it makes me cough more. Oh uh, 
I didn't grow much after I was born. <laughs> but pretty cool, right? So these throw pillows are super, super popular. Okay? Super, super popular when it comes to, um, like, baby gifts and stuff like that. So, but I have, we've also used them on picture frames. And you can do them on so many different things. Um, do you have to have the wizard to use? So, you can, the answer to that is no, but you do need at least Corel Draw. So, you won't be able to obviously do all the mock-ups and everything, but if you did not have the wizard, you could still use the live templates, and you would just manually kind of come over and edit each one. Does that make sense? So you would click on the edit tab, come over here, and then change Jackson to, um, I don't know, um, can't even think of a name now, Colton. And then it changes. So if you just have CorelDRAW, Yes, so all of our live templates are built for Corel Draw, and obviously the wizard. All right, any questions on that? Good to go? Okay, I do want to go over one more thing tonight, just to show you, because again, it's something that's super cool. But again, for what we've covered tonight, I would say we've covered maybe 3% of the wizard, as far as what it can do. So, but this is, this is one of my favorite. I'm going to come over here. I'm going to show you two more things, actually. Two more things, because this is, this is awesome, too. So, fonts. Okay, we do have a bunch of different, and a lot of people don't know this, different type, of, we try to make different types of fonts. Fonts that make kind of things a lot easier okay an example of one of those fonts that makes things a lot easier is something like the superscript font or the baseball stadium font or the game day font so I'll use the stadium font just to give you an example okay so if I come over here and I go to the font collector and I'm gonna go stadium and this is my stadium font right here, which looks pretty nice. It's a nice script font, right? But if at the end I hit the explanation point, it adds that tail. If I hit the at sign, it adds that tail. If I hit the pound sign, number sign, it adds that one. There's a different one. There's a different one. There's a different one. Now, these are the really cool ones. If I hit the left parentheses, it adds the baseball and baseball bat, which is pretty cool, right? And honestly, with this, what I would do, I would take this, I would come over here, I would break it apart, I would take the word baseball here, I would squeeze that a little bit together, I think that looks pretty good there, I would highlight it all. Weld it together, come over here and maybe clean up. I double clicked, and I'm just going to clean up that little area there, that little area there, and that all looks pretty good. Then I'm going to use the same font, and they're number 23. So I'm going to have number 23 right there. And you know what I have that I can sell for $10 right now? Check it out. Mockups. TRW. I'm going to make it about 3 inches, 3.5 inches by 7.5 inches. Come over to my car decal. Click. And there's my custom baseball number 23 car window decal. How easy was that? 
And that's just something that's really cool about some of the different fonts. Now, the one that I really wanted to show you, and this, again, you don't have to have the wizard for these, but someone give me a high school, just give me colors, sport, and like initials, like um, LRHS or SHS or RHS or WHS for like um, Wisconsin High School. I don't know. Lakewood Ranch High School. Give me something. And I'm going to show you a really cool one. So first I'll show you the full pack that it is. When it comes to font packs, this is my most used of any by far. Okay? And it is this one right here. True Type Font Pack Volume 10. It comes with all of these different sport fonts. So, check this out. I'm going to go, let me find one. Okay, I got GHS Green and Gold Football. GHS. So watch this. GHS. Green and gold and football. Got it? <clears throat> so let's come over here. I'm going to search for football. There's my football KO laces. There's my GHS. I'm going to go about mm, 10.2 inches. Pretty good size there. I'm happy with that. I want this to be two colors because we were going, what were our colors? Green and gold. Okay, Adrian. Green and gold. So watch this. I'll come up here and hit the two. Pretty sweet. I'm going to come over here. I'm going to weld this together. Okay. And I want the outside to be my green glitter maybe. And then the inside to be my gold glitter. And then I'm just going to go down here. Football. I'll use a collegiate font. So I'll go here. Collegiate font. From there. I don't want it to be that big. That to me kind of takes away from it. So I'm going to make it a little bit smaller. I'm going to click on text spacing. I'm going to drag this out a little bit. So it evens out a little bit. And then, watch, this is a little shortcut. Shift, click to the gold, weld, and I'm done with this shirt. That was that easy. This shirt is finished. Highlight my design. Come over to women's. I'm going to go to a women's burnout shirt front, click on my shirt, and there we go. Now that was done, and the reason, like the wizard helped a little bit with some of it, but the main reason that worked so easy is because we created that font to be like that. So the font was built to have all of these football laces and everything in it. And that's what this is. So you can see it has basketball and wrestling, lacrosse, and girls volleyball, boys volleyball, girls basketball, boys basketball, band, music, gymnastics, dance, baseball, softball, men's soccer, women's soccer, hockey, volleyball, and all of these different, obviously, sports. So... As you guys know, I did a ton of sports stuff because that's where the money is in the customization side of it. And stuff like this was crazy popular for all of the different schools and everybody, the colleges, different people that we worked with. How have I? Yeah, these were insanely popular. Honestly, the football, baseball, and basketball 
kind of the three biggest sports, I would say, in high school, at least here in Florida, were by far the most popular. Um, this font pack, it was, let me show you guys. So when you go to designs and full pack designs, okay, just go down to page two. And on page two, you'll see it's True Type Font Pack Volume 10. And these are all of the different, I think there are, yeah, 23 different sport fonts in there. Pretty sweet, right? All right. Let me flip you guys around here. TikTok. Oh, come on, TikTok. There we go. Where are we at? We need 28 likes on YouTube for an extra mini pack. Let's go, YouTube. I know, TikTok. What's going on, TikTok? You know what? TikTok, most people on TikTok um, kind of switched, obviously, because it wasn't making stuff today. And it's hard to see the screen. So TikTok's numbers, anytime we do something like this, the numbers are always down. But honestly, it's good. To, I mean, I, I think we still had 260, 270 on YouTube. And it's good because there's not as crazy amount of questions. But what do you guys think? Those of you, just feedback. Those of you, of anybody that was here that had never seen The Wizard before, first time ever seeing The Wizard, our software, let me know. Um, those of you who have seen it before, hopefully a few different things that I did tonight. That's the goal with these types of trainings. Hopefully a few different things that I did tonight helped you guys as far as you learned something new or, oh, I've never thought to do it that way or this way. So hopefully that helped you a little bit. Um, yes, Kim, and in the Hall of Fame trainings and stuff, I always go a lot slower because there's less people and, I, and we focus kind of on one thing instead of showing a ton of different things. So never, the one thing I always try to say is never try to follow along with me in these trainings, especially in an overview type thing because I always do kind of fly through it quick. But the cool thing is you can go back, you can rewatch this and see and kind of pause it and, and rewatch. So it's good. All right, one more like. Let me give away two mini packs. But remember, if any of you are looking at these packs that I talked about tonight, like the True Type Font Pack Volume 10 that I just did that last one on, or the Live Templates Volume 3, that's my favorite one for the templates, <clears throat> right now they're 70% off. Okay, I always do the 65% off on Monday nights. But I did the 70 tonight just because it was focused on just designs and stuff. So there was no other type of coupon code. Alright, here we go. I got two mini packs. My two mini pack winners of choice are... Doo -doo -doo -doo. I got number one. I'm just going to scroll through and stop. And whoever I stop on... First one I just stopped on is Becky Freeman. Becky Freeman, you are our first mini pack winner of choice. And our second, second mini pack winner of choice is... Dun, dun, dun. I got... Let me see if I can pronounce... Jacqueline's Own? Is that right? Jacqueline's Own. O-W-N. Jacqueline's own, you are the second winner of a mini pack of choice. Let's go. And if you want a font instead of a mini pack, not a font, not a full font pack, but if you want a font instead of a mini pack, you can just shoot us an email, info at rhinestoneworld.com. Let us know what you want. Hi, right, crew. Again, remember, next Monday is Halloween, so we aren't going to have a live next Monday because I know everybody will be busy and you'll be... Um, hopefully you're not getting too sheet faced and hopefully you're wearing your sheet face design though, or maybe your sheet face tumbler, but 
Well, I'm thinking maybe we'll do it. I'm trying to decide. I'm trying to fight, fi- figure out also when all the kids' practices and stuff are. Maybe Tuesday, maybe Wednesday. But I will let you guys know. But as always, thank you guys so much for taking time out of your night to come by. Thank you for being good with going later. I know that's not good for a lot of you. You guys want to get to bed. But Jack's had practice tonight that we didn't get home till 830 So, had to go with the 9 o'clock or tonight. But, as always, appreciate all of you guys. Hopefully, you guys learned something new. Any questions, shoot us an email, shoot us a call. And we'll see you guys soon. All right, TikTok, I'm out. Later. YouTube, you guys have an amazing night. We'll see you guys soon.